Okay, so just off to the side and the soft stuff. Once you got out of the pack stuff, game over. You said the winch isn't working? Nope. I pulled it out manually. Oh, they do have. No, they don't have tow hooks on the front. Why does it have a winch on the front with no tow hooks? Because it came. Oh, they are down here. Okay. Yeah, but, well, you probably got a fairly decent turnaround here. Even better. I'll just grab the back end right here. And go and that pull way. And back end around that and off way. that way. Yeah. And then it's facing yep. that way. And then we watch him drive off and get stuck again. Oh, no. <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> Good try, though. All right, oh, turn. well. I'll turn it around. You want to get this thing fired up and running? We'll do. So, Casey's going to go up here, get set up, and we're going to pull his rear end around so he can head back the way we came in. I'm just happy it didn't get demolished or somebody broke into it. Yeah, because that has happened. Yeah. See if the rope will do it. If not, we can turn around and use the wind. The worst case, it looks like if we went straight forward, there's. Uh, worst case, I'll pull his front end up that way, and then and back let him come here, back down. Okay. And then out. Yeah. See if this works first. You just going to use a short yankum? Yeah. I'll use the short 15-foot um, one. Okay. So we stay close. Man, it would be cool if you could just do a circle. That's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to go right there. And up up and down? Way. Okay. The problem is that there's a ditch right there under the snow that you can't really see. But I felt it when I drove through it. And if I might sink. That's right when I'm going to be pulling hard. So it might. Well, we'll see. Me. We'll see. You want him in gear or anything? He'll be in his truck, yeah. Let me set this up. Okay. Turn your wheel this way. And once it's pulled over some, start giving some throttle, see if you can help me come around. I'm basically going to try to spin you around and put you right here. Yep. See how this goes. What if you what if you come back here and getting back up on the road before we try that? I'm gonna use that toe point on the front and go forward. Go forward. I don't want to dig this up. Yeah, you're just burying in the snow there. We'll switch. Yeah, he's pretty well buried on that. Yeah, we'll go rear. that way. Now I'm gonna go forward. Yep. Yeah, leave it in reverse. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
come out right here and I'm going to point up that way and where my tracks are right there you're going to basically have to point straight uphill and then I can very easily pull you backwards into that so now I'll put it in drive Now I can pull your back end over. Okay. <laughs> He's buried right there. Maybe I'll sit right here and winch so I'm lifting and pulling over. We do it slow and I'm not spinning tracks. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. I'm not that worried about up there. But on this part, it's hard. Yeah, but is, is that a road up? there a little bit i don't think so i think there's just some people i've ridden there so i don't want to pull on the trail and spin tires so i'll back up right here and winch instead okay we'll put this right here. or i guess we got some pretty good sized trees over there well, i think i can it'll winch it over just fine i just don't want to be spinning yeah okay Lift it up, yeah. Back up and do it again. Okay, put it in park. I'm gonna back up. Yeah, just back up and pull him again. I'm gonna stay fairly close so that I keep having a lift angle on it to get it out of the snow. I don't wanna drag it through. Well, over here he's gonna get on the pack a little bit. Okay, put it in reverse. If you go back a little further, do you think he could power out on his own? I don't want him to because I don't want him to spin into this. <clears throat> We're kind of worried here about tearing up a snowmobile trail okay, reverse. without some sort of warning. If you have a little throttle, I want it to climb up. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit like that. Now he's starting to bite. Okay, 
start turning the wheel towards me. One more. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna move up front and hook onto that tow point and pull you up here to the middle of this. That way we're not spinning back into here. Okay. Using soft shackle to protect the vehicle. Now we have a Yankum rope. Okay, so and you're gonna drive and you're gonna help some. That way it gets you up on the snow, but don't spin your tires where you dig back into it. And don't let the rope go slack. If the rope's going slack, you're giving too much. You want me to be pulling the entire time. So we're gonna get right up here the center of the hard pack where you're sitting on top. How about that? Another easy one. And so now he's going to shovel the rest of his life. <laughs> That's what happens when you get stuck in the snow. You have to shovel the rest of your life. Yep, we'll shovel those holes back in and then these ones right here. Mainly those because they're like the trail. What if you're just running a track That's exactly jeep? exactly what we're going to do. Knock the big humps down in the holes and I'll run over them mm. with the tracks. That way no okay. one the reason them. The reason we do this is because snow beelers come down here. Snow beelers? Snowmobilers. Sledders, get it right. Snow sledders. They're gonna make everybody mad. <laughs> and if we leave a big divot, they might uh, hit it and fall off. Maybe. Going somewhere? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you want to go or you want to stay here? <laughs> no, I don't want to stay here. <laughs> so, not like perfect, but uh, good enough. It's not going to drop a snowmobile into a hole before the groomer gets in here and clears all this off. So, should be good. Okay, you head down, stay, turn all your lights on in case the snowmobile's coming the other way. It's visible and stay as center as you can on the hardest pack stuff you can. Alright, well, we got the Jeep on the trailer, we made it back to the truck, uh, that guy's headed home and uh, he now knows exactly where he's not supposed to be. He's not from the area so he was just out here like exploring and explored a little too far. So he's out of there, the groomer will get that trail tuned up next time they come through there and uh, we're going to head home. Sounds good. Now to close this video out, uh, 
you'll see. It's going to look all cool like cinematic type stuff with like music and all. So watch that now. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you.